for joining us. Yeah. If you have a question on the call, please raise your hand. We're going to get started with Michelle. Hi, Kelvin. Um, I actually have two questions for you. One is team oriented, one is about you. Um, how, how do you see the team different right now than it was two or three weeks ago? You know, what, what do you see as the big difference now versus two or three weeks ago? And then personally, uh, we had just asked Phil about with, um, with Leandro out suspended this week, what are some of the options at center back? And he said that you have played in the center before you played there for your national team. So I'm just wondering how you feel about center back versus outside and how do you think the team looks compared to two weeks ago? Thank you. Um, good afternoon all. Um, obviously I've been only back a week now. So uh, what happened two weeks <laughs> prior to that, <laughs> I, I don't know, but um, I've seen the trainings online. I followed the training sessions of the team online, even, uh, even though I wasn't here. But um, I, can, I can talk for what happened after the, after the game when I come back, when, which I come back was uh, New England. Of course, it was a terrible experience for us. But um, the reaction we showed, I think, um, shows the mentality of, uh, of not giving up. We know that we uh, were down and that we have to climb away all the way up. But sometimes it's, uh, it's nice when you have to earn it the hard way. So. I think we're heading into the right direction. Philadelphia was a good team on the supporter shield last year. We draw it home. I think we could have got a win there. And uh, the last game, we came back from behind against a team that um, has been playing well against us this season, I have to say. But uh, even uh, we, took a, we, took, we took a big hit, but uh, we came back very strong and, um, and we controlled the game. Even though we gave some chances away, but that happens, we also had opportunities to score more. So I think um, we're climbing up slowly, but um, I think uh, we're heading into the right direction. And for me personally, I've, I've played center back many, many times in, um, in, in the Netherlands so, uh, and also in the national team. For me, it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a big issue. I actually love to play there, so uh, I'll just uh, do what the coach asks, asked. Next question, Franco. Thank you, Rafa. Hey, Kelvin. Uh, how are you, man? Bum bummed we couldn't see you in person um, at last this season, but I guess it'll have to wait for another another time. Um, wanted to ask you more about playing at right back. Um, if you do so like you did at the start of this last game, um, you'll face up with Nani quite a bit. Um, obviously, he likes to move all over the field, but he normally deploys himself out on that left wing, which would be your one on one matchup. Um, he has scored three goals in the five games against Inter Miami to date. Uh, what do you have to do? Obviously, it's a team effort, but what do you have to do to help limit him and try to not influence the game as he has in in previous encounters? Thanks, Calvin. Um, of course, uh, obviously, he's a, he's a very good player. He's a very important player for uh, for Orlando. So, I think the last game we played, we basically, um, I think we had him good under control. He had two great moments. We had a fantastic cross and uh, and, a, and a great shot, but overall, that's uh, that what that's what decided the game. But I felt that game we had him under control. But you know, two magical moments from him, and uh, that's what people expect from attackers. You know, even if they're not in the game, they can change the game with two with one or two actions, and that's what he did. And I think um, we have to go into the game the same way because I felt like the game we played at home, we deserved more. We fought really hard. The fans were. Uh, supporting us the whole game we felt all this all the support but obviously two moments changed the whole game and um, yeah that's what happened that makes sports so tough you know you feel like you you have it under control and uh, a good cross and a fantastic shot changed the whole game and um, yeah that's that's his quality so uh, kudos to him Franco go ahead sorry I had to unmute myself Kelvin, how important is it for you guys as a team, as a collective, to keep rolling, be it with a point or three? Um, how important is it? Because obviously a loss would, would then bring back the questions of, of where this team is. Obviously, you guys are still in last place, um, even with the last two positive results. So how important is it for you guys to get something out of Wednesday's game against a tough opponent that will be at home with its fans um, behind it in this big rivalry match? Um, 
winning makes everything easier. <laughs> you know, even when you have a bad touch, you get out of uh, you get out of problems. You know, when you have confidence, everything goes easier. So, a win would be uh, massive for us, also because it's uh, a big rival for us. Team out, uh, team out of the same state, so would be uh, yeah, would be massive for for our confidence and um, and uh, yeah. So we go out there. We're gonna play our game. Hopefully, we get three points. And when you get three points, everything gets a lot easier. So that's what we're, that's what we're looking for. Go ahead, Michel. Uh, Kellen, I wanted to ask you about Nick Marsman. Um, you know, you've had actually some changes in the back. Uh, you were gone with your national team, and Jovan is is injured, and and then you've had a goalie change. You know, um, how has that changed? Just sort of how has the back line uh, adjusted to Nick, and how does he play differently from John? Do you feel? Um, Nick is uh, also still adjusting to the team. It's 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 new. Um, I've played with him in the Netherlands with the, with uh, in the national team, the youth teams. So I've I've been knowing him for a while, but he's still adjusting um, communication because you know you have you have to speak English. With me, he speaks Dutch sometimes, and you have the guys who speak Spanish. So um, we still have some ways to go, but um, the more we play, the more we train together. Everybody will get uh, uh, know each other's quality. We see that he can play out of the back. He's very calm, um, has a good long kick, uh, tries to play the ball in between the line. So, but that, those are things that uh, John was doing also this season for us. And um, I think um, the coach made a decision, and we're building from here. And whoever is playing in front of him, um, we know we know what his qualities are, and uh, we're trying to, yeah, he's trying to feed us, and we're trying to be available for him because uh, he sees the game as a goalkeeper very well. Any more questions from the call? Franco? Hey, Calvin, sorry to, to keep peppering you. Um, <laughs> no. what, what did you guys, I'm just curious what you guys did today in training. Um, obviously, it's a really quick turnaround for you guys. I imagine yesterday was more of a regeneration day for, for the starters from Saturday. But today, what did you guys work on um, with such short time? I'm sure it was a light training, but what did you guys work on? And uh, how, how much video have you guys done? How much video work have you done uh, on Orlando? Uh, right now, or, or is it going to be something you guys I imagine will do today or later today or tomorrow? Yeah, as you, as you said, today was a, was a lighter lighter session. We uh, we we went on the field, uh, moved a little bit around, played some uh, soccer tennis. Um, uh, we still have to watch the clips with the with the coaches from the last game and the game coming, but they've already put everything on, everything online. So um, everybody, the, the clips are available for everybody. So for me, it's just uh, like I said, like one click away to watch specific things for me because they've set everything up. And when I come in tomorrow and uh, and we talk about it, I already know what it's going to be about and maybe it can have my input. So for everybody, everything is available. It's always been available. And uh, tomorrow we can uh, go in deep, dive in deep to the, to the opponent and learn from mistakes from the last game because we've also made some mistakes the last game. And um, talk about that. Uh, Forget about that game and move forward. Last question, Michelle. Okay, one last one on Orlando. Um, in addition to Nani, what other specific challenges do they pose? What you know? How would you describe their team and how you guys match up against them? Um, beyond Nani, what else do you see as the biggest concerns with that team? Well, they have a very physical team, but um, I think these these kind of games it really it comes down to one or two moments. Uh, as I said, the previous game, Nani had two great moments which decide the game. But most most of the time when you play these games, it's it's the emotional part of the game because it's a rivalry match, and mostly that takes over. And then, and uh, hopefully we can we can keep our cool, stay in the game, stay focused, and make those one or two moments that we get decide the game in our favor. So we we, we will have a game plan, but you know. There's also so the, the outside things coming in because it's a rivalry match, so um, we have to we have to be aware of that too. Thank you, Kelvin, and thank you everyone for joining us today. Have we'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good day. Take care.